Remember that an interface is a layer of decoupling around the concrete data based not on what the concrete data really is, but based on what the concrete data can do. And so E in this example is an interface. But there are times where you might want to extract a copy of that concrete data that is stored inside of, in this case, E. Right? We know that there's some user in E, and I want it out. Now, Go gives you the ability to pull a copy of the concrete data by basically asking for it. Now, this is what we call a type assertion in Go. And right now, this form of the type assertion, which is an interface variable dot parentheses as if you were conversion, conversion, and then the type that you are, this is the key here. This is the type that you are expecting. This is the type of data you are expecting to be inside of E at the time that this code runs. This is now a runtime situation, not a compile time situation. Now here's the interesting part. If there is a value of type user inside of E, you will get a copy of that. This is value semantics, right? And you will be a value of type user, and it will have a copy of that user value stored inside of E. But if, e, if that user value is not inside of E, which is the case on the second iteration, this code's going to panic. Your program's going to go down because you now have an integrity issue. You're saying at this moment in time and space, there's supposed to be a user value in there, and suddenly there isn't. We got problems. But there are times where it might not be, like in this case. So Go gives you a second form. I don't know why we use the OK variable, but we do. And now what this says is, I'm expecting a user value to be inside of E. If there is one, OK is true. U is a copy of that user value. If there isn't a user value in there, don't panic. OK will be false, and U will be the zero value of type user. There it is. And we can do this to run types of checks. And by the way, a type assertion doesn't have to just be on a concrete type. You can also type assert on other interface types. You can ask, hey, is the concrete data stored inside of E? Does it also behave like an I.O. reader? If the answer is true, then R will be an I.O. reader with that concrete data stored inside of it. If the answer is false, R will be an I.O. reader set to its zero value. Always that zero value, zero value. All right? Um, so remember some of that. It might come up. 